It seems that the Sussexes have gone missing. South Park slams Harry and Meghan's careers, shoving them into a lightless basement. Hello friends and welcome to the breaking raw news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. On her Sirius XM show with Jim Geraghty and Michael Brendan Doherty on Friday, Megan Kelly said that the long-running Comedy Central cartoon is a hint that it is over for Megan and Harry. She believes that the brutal mockery of Megan and Harry in South Park will signal the beginning of the end for the former royal couple. One insider agreed and said, I think Megan Kelly is absolutely right about this. Harry and Meghan are a global joke, triggered by their own behaviour. Divorce may also be on the cards very soon, as once Meghan realises their plans to be the next power couple is over, Harry will be of no use to her. That is true if you put yourself in the spotlight rather than living the quiet life. You can then expect some flack. Most people who want to become the centre of attention ultimately get negative press at some point in time. Harry and Meghan are public figures, meaning that they intentionally put themselves into the public lens, so they don't have as much right to sue. Bad comes with good. If they want to stop being made fun of, they need to seriously lie low and shut up. One British expert commented saying, I wonder how Meghan is feeling these days. She's definitely been the force behind all of their business ventures. She knows how to navigate the media and how to roll out their brand. The last time I decided to live my life privately, I do not believe I needed an image or a brand. Megan has failed disastrously by hiring Hollywood public relations people and taking advice from out-of-touch A-listers. There is no way that Megan saw Hollywood coming after them. She thought that they were going to be rubbing shoulders with the best of the bunch in celeb land. She did not realise that what they did to the royals was what every celebrity fears about their own family. South Park demonstrated what Hollywood and the majority of the public think of them. Nasty. It is odd how the truth always makes the best comedy. Normally it is over-exaggerated, but this hasn't been and hits the nail right on the head. Now Megan sees firsthand how it is when the media turns against you and there is nothing you can do about it. Megan has recently grown increasingly active in politics and as recently as this summer, there were rumours that she wanted to run for president. Her biographer even referred to a White House run as probable. But that will not happen, Kelly remarked. When South Park turns against you, there is no turning back. South Park's most recent spoof on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex drew reactions from both fans and attractors on social media. The comedy, which was created by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, follows the Prince and Princess of Canada as they travel the globe on a global privacy tour to promote his memoir, ARG. One commentator said, The episode is absolutely South Park at its best. It is a perfect topic for the South Park creators because there is so much to work with. It takes all the negatives we hear about them and works them into the episode beautifully. I like to think that Harry and Wallace would be mortified by it, but in reality they have no shame whatsoever, so possibly not. It is a total and well-deserved kick in the teeth for them. After the episode's release on Wednesday, many people immediately posted their comments online, proclaiming that even after 26 seasons, the programme has the greatest writers in the game by far. Some claimed that the episode had rekindled their interest in the programme after they had grown tired of it years before. New viewers who had never heard of South Park before were now attracted. The episode was centred on a red-headed prince and his Canadian wife, who, following a family dispute, became wary of the media's attention. Canada has already been utilised in the show to represent other nations. The new Canadian president, who has a striking likeness to Donald Trump, seeks to erect a substantial border wall in order to keep Americans out in season 19. More viewers were drawn to the programme, among them Twitter user Canel Labelle, who wrote, 
I'd never heard of this show before, but this is funny. They encapsulated how we all feel about this obnoxious couple. Peace, the resistance, a Twitter user who claimed to have grown tired of South Park many years ago, said that they may watch the contentious episode adding that this is precisely why Trey and Matt created a Harry and Meghan episode. They will ridicule everything viciously. That just indicates that Harry and Meghan are well known enough to attract viewers. They have incorporated so much detail. Not only their attitude and stupidity, but even the candle at St Paul's made a presence. How marvellous is that? Just brilliant full of surprises and stuff that the public can resonate with when talking about the dastly duo. Very well, South Park, this has been a masterpiece. Given that about 556,000 people saw the episode, according to Show Buzz Daily, it is unclear how successful it was across the board. South Park is well known for attacking icons from popular culture, the program has traditionally been quite wide in who and what it satirises during the previous 26 seasons, while some other recent seasons have played with themes mocking political correctness, gentrification and advertising, amongst other things. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have expressed disapproval of the show's many depictions of Mormons, whose writers also authored the popular television series The Book of Mormon. Since many years ago, there has been widespread criticism from all political camps on how various religious and social groupings are portrayed. A variety of subjects, including major and small faiths, pop musicians, Republican and Democratic presidents, climate change advocacy and climate change denial have been the subject of the duo's animation. The first scene of the episode shows Kyle's younger brother Ike, who was adopted from Canada and is distraught about the passing of the late Queen Elizabeth II, a Canadian-like monarch. The remainder of the royal family boos the Prince and Princess of Canada when they are spotted at a huge state funeral. They are accused of disparaging the Canadian monarchy. The couple come on breakfast television to seek their privacy in response to the outrage. The Prince waves a sign that reads, We want solitude, as he enters the Good Morning Canada set with a book to sell, while the Princess waves a sign that says, Stop looking at us. The presenter questions whether, despite detesting them, he has transformed into a journalist after covering the royal family for his new book, WAG. The prince responds, We simply want to be normal people. All this attention is so difficult. The host challenges the pair, asking how real their desire for seclusion is, and the royals leave the set. With dancing rainbows and a catchy theme song, the pair boards their private plane and takes out on a global We Want Solitude tour. They go to France, India and even a field of kangaroos when stopping in Australia, all the while chanting their pro-privacy chants to amused locals. What do you think of South Park's hilariously mocking episode of Harry and Meghan? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. We hope you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.